In today's video, I've got five facts about Nino Nakano from the series The Quintessential Quintuplets, or you could say a, basically a character analysis video. Anyway, if you're new here, why not join the 4 and 4 community by hitting the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss a video. And a quick warning that there may be spoilers, so just a heads up. But with that being said, let's roll intro and get straight into the video. Nino is the second sister of the Nakano quintuplets. Each Nakano quint's name indicates the order of their birth. In Nino's case, it's the Ni, which is a reading for this kanji. She is currently 17 years of age and was born on the 5th of May, making her a Taurus. And just like the other sisters, Nino is an average height, standing at 159 centimeters, which makes her 5 foot 3. And her figure, you know what, just add some sort of word that also means noise. The sisters, of course, all share the same dark blue colored eyes, but now have different color hair and styles. Nino's is a pinkish red color, long in length that she will eventually cut to shoulder length. I know. The reason she had kept her hair as long as it is was because she was holding on to the past and felt that with the others changing their individuality, they were slowly growing apart. Her most noticeable accessory are the twin butterfly ribbons that she wears on either sides of her head. And attire-wise, Nino wears her uniform with a long, dark blue sweater. Nino is also the most fashionable of the girls. Her style is particularly aimed at the cuter side of things, as she has many cute accessories, such as a bunny-themed phone cover. She also takes great care of her nails, but when it comes to having her ear pierced, she just can't do it, as she is too scared, but has said that she plans to have it done before she gets married. Each quint has their own unique personality, and in Nino's case, she is very outgoing, blunt while in confrontation, and is labelled by Yotsuba as the social butterfly because she has so many friends. Nino is, you know, of course, very sharp-tongued, even when confronting one of her sisters. She has a very rebellious side to her that is straight to the point. She does have quite a few aggressive traits, but these are often the result of her being protective of her sisters, because of all the five girls, Nino is the one that takes the motherly role. Though Nino comes across as cold and you could say quite rude actually, she does have a completely different side to her that she is hiding. Nino is actually very caring, protective and the most delicate of all the quints. As well as having their own unique personalities, each quint has their own individual likes and dislikes. Nino's favourite food are pancakes. She dislikes anything with pickles in. Her favourite drink is room temperature water pushing the boat out a bit there with that one. And her favourite snack are candy apples. Hobby-wise, Nino's morning routine is makeup and yoga. Favourite TV shows are variety shows. And of course, just to throw this in for fun, her favourite animal are rabbits. No. Nino's Japanese voice actress is Ayana Takatatsu. She has voiced other characters such as Leafa in Sword Art Online, Katori Izuka from Date Alive, Yuzu Aihara in Citrus, Sugumi from Guilty Crown, and more. Nino's English voice actress is Jill Harris. She has voiced other characters such as Mandalay in My Hero Academia, Hifumi Takimoto from New Game, Noelle Silva in Black Clover, Rika Takarada from Gridman, and more. Each of the sisters have, you know, different areas or specialities that they excel in. These strengths also work just as their personalities do, where they'll either end up contrasting against each other or, you know, complementing each other so that the five of them combine to become one, or so they say. Or so I say, every time. I think I said that last time. Who knows? When it comes to study, Nino ranks in the lower half of the five. Subject-wise, she does excel in English. But where Nino really shines is in cooking. She is shown cooking things from daily meals to the sweet stuff, such as cookies. The sisters all, of course, have their own individual favourites, which often makes it harder for poor Nino to cook for them all. But Nino has actually revealed that her dream is to one day open up her own restaurant, and that this has been a dream of hers ever since she was a kid. Now, in my previous video on Yotsubo, which I will leave a link to in the cards now, where I was talking about her having exceptionally good eyesight, Nino, on the other hand, does not. She unfortunately has poor eyesight and relies on the use of contact lenses to get through her day-by-day -day activities. 
So let's finish this video off with some random trivia found on the wiki that I thought was awesome and I thought I'd share it with you. So there's not an awful lot on Nino to be fair, but the purple rose petals on the cover of the volume 3 manga, which is Nino's volume, means love at first sight, which is said to be a reference to future events in the story. And Nino owns a lot of dolls in her bed, but there is one particular doll that is often seen in the background as a cameo throughout the series and at the end of the anime's OP. Next up we've got some Nino and Futaro stats. Nino was the first quint to be seen half naked by Futaro, and Nino was the second quint to see him half naked. The first in this case was Yotsuba. Her confession to Futaro was the fourth, but was the first one that he actually understood as serious or a romantic confession. She was also the only quint to confess to him twice, though this was only because Futaro didn't hear the first one. Nino was also the first one to change the way she addresses him. She also, may I add, had the most nicknames names for him. These names slowly developed from like hate to signs of her affection towards him. And a fun one to finish off but Nino was the first character to intentionally show the middle finger salute in the series. Nice. But thanks for watching this is my video, 5 facts about Nino Nakano from the series The Quintessential Quintuplets. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you'd like to see more characters from this series, let me know in the comments. Of course, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to smash the like button as it really does help my videos reach a wider audience and subscribe for more anime content. Till next time, my fellow weebs, peace.